This video introduces some basic software function of DH36X analyzer. Totally 8 parts, from sample analysis to service. The sample analysis is used for blood sample test. Click previous. You can check the samples tested before. In the mode and ID, three testing modes are available, Venus, Capillary, and Pre-Dilute. Choose the mode you want to test and click OK. In the pre-entry, you can input the patient information for the next sample in advance. After sample blood finish the testing, click print to get the report. If you want to print parameters that tested on other instrument in the hematology analysis report, you can input this parameter on this custom parameter interface. Here you can also edit and delete the sample result. In the review interface, you can check the samples tested previously. Also, you can print, delete, export the reports in batches. Find a specific blood sample tested before, and check whether the CV of this analyzer meets requirement or not. Choose one sample and click graph, you can see the results and histograms. For the QC interface, please check the DH36X operation video. When the analyzer shows an error message reagent is insufficient and the reagent is running out. Choose the reagent accordingly and click Setup, then scan the new RF card to refresh the reagent information, then back to the sample analysis and remove the error messages. Pay attention that the replace and replace all are just for priming the hydraulic, not replacing reagent. Add diluent is for pre-dilute sample test mode. Click this icon and put a tube under the sample probe. Then press the aspiration key cover for one time to collect 480 microliter diluent. After that, click cancel. Collect 20 microliter blood and mix it with the diluent evenly. Back to the sample analysis interface and choose pre-dilute mode to test it. This calibration interface is only for service engineer to repair the analyzer. In the setup interface, click auto maintenance to adjust auto sleep wait time and auto cleanser soak time. You can click user to create a new user account, or edit an account. In the print settings interface, you can edit the report title, choose the paper type and template or customize the template you want. When the auto print is checked, the report will be printed automatically after the analyzer finished the sample test. There are also many print options you can choose. Finally we are going to introduce the service interface. The replace reagent is only for priming the hydraulic, not replace reagent. If you want to replace reagent, go to reagent management interface, choose the reagent and click setup to scan the RF card. You can click clean to clean the WBC or RBC bath. When the analyzer shows clog message, click maintain and unclog.
cleanser soak should be performed in advance when there are many samples need to be tested. We also need to run the cleanser soak at least two times a week. When the analyzer has not been used for more than one week, perform empty fluidics to prevent crystallization. If the analyzer is not to be used for over two weeks or needs to be transported over a long distance, you should perform prepare to ship. When you face a problem on the analyzer, please export the service log to a USB disk and send the log to us. You can view the current version information of all parts of the analyzer by click version. If you have any questions, please refer to the operator manual or contact our service engineer.